Hi, AFI Movie Club. I'm Carol Kravitz Ikenian. I'm the editor of Ghost World, and I'm also an AFI alum. This scene takes place when Enid hits her lowest point in the movie. She's going to see Seymour, even though he doesn't really want to see her because he has a girlfriend at this point, which he actually she helped find. And he's also a little bit afraid of her. She's quite unpredictable. Look, I just need someone to be nice to me for like five minutes and then I swear I'll leave you alone, okay? Well, what's the matter? Do you have anything to drink? Yeah, and, well, there might be some root beer in there. What's this? That's Dana's. I'm supposed to be saving it for her two-month anniversary. You better not. The way that Terry shot most of the film was in long takes where he held the camera. We don't have a lot of cuts. And what it means is that each cut really is going to be visible and is only there as a punctuation to help the humor or the drama or both at the same time, mostly the humor. Tone was really important in this film. As soon as you mix drama and comedy, the challenge rises, you know, as an editor, because you really have to find the nuances. You don't want to go too much to the comedy part. You don't want to lose the drama, etc. So it's a fine line and it's a, a lot more difficult to know how to create it. Obviously, the actors create it, you know, and Steve Wishimi, he can like be this Seymour character and he was so battered by life and so unhappy and angry, but also he could deliver the very comedic line without himself being funny. It's really remarkable what he did. And so is for a bird, she's quite amazing. And when you hold in silence, the audience becomes uncomfortable a little bit. And it enhances whatever weirdness, if, if your character is odd, it enhances that, that sort of oddity. What is this? Dana got it when we went shopping for antiques. Everything that you see in this room, uh, all the artwork, is actually the director's private collection. It was actually, I remember, a lot of work to get all these real pieces cleared. Jesus, how can you stand her? How come in all that time I was trying to get you a date, you never asked me out? There were three little scenes here. This is the second one, where we see that Enid wants to know why he has not been attracted to her or has never shown any sort of interest that way. And he's sort of like very surprised by the question. So as you can see, we hold on takes. The camera lets follows their moves and let them do their work. Maybe I should just move in with you. You know, I, I could do the cooking and, and dust your old records and stuff until I get a job. As the scene evolves, they get drunk on this bottle of champagne. You see that, you know, they are like a bit tipsy and she is maneuvering to get him closer to her. I used to think about one day, just not telling anyone, going off to some random place. And I just disappear. And they'd never see me again. She's also, her dream is to escape her reality. And he really cannot believe that she's really attracted to him. You know what we should do? We should just get in your car right now and just drive off. Just find some totally new place and start a whole new life. Fuck everybody. I'm, uh, I'm not in any good condition to drive. I'm serious. Just so sick of everybody. Why can't I just do what I want? What do you want? What do you want? Don't you like me? There's this deadpan quality to Ghost World that is so funny. It's not trying hard. Terry Twigoff, the director, he really has an eye for this kind of character. And he knew who he wanted, like even somebody crossing the street or 
he just knew exactly he wanted real people always and that's why ghost word is successful because it, i think it found in the writing in the performance and then it obviously in us putting it together it really found that right middle ground where everything could play drama comedy and everything 